Hey everybody, Refresh here, making a second Dark Ascension Sealed deck for fun. Let's see what we get in these packs and we'll get to it. Okay, I got a Mind Rot, Thought Scour, uh, Wild Hunger, interesting, okay. It's a pretty good combat trick. Let's go Flunge, good combat trick. Haunted Fengraph, Evolving Wilds, well, these are pretty good. Talons of the Falconrath, it's not quite a combat trick. It's an expensive pump. Uh, not bad, I guess. If I'm playing the colors, Midnight Guard, the Scabs. It's pretty good. If I can cast it once, Pyro Heart, Scourge, Sag, Flare. It's not bad if I have Human Sacrifice, Increasing Devotion. Wow, ooh, wow. That's a lot of tokens. That's pretty good. Interland Hermit. Eh, not great. Definitely one of the 23, not the reason, to the reason to play. Spare requires some sort of way of generating all the human, like increasing devotion. Third guild's pretty good, dust caress, so far looking black. And white is not so bad, evolving wilds to fix. It's a lot of the same cards. Uh, it's not great, but it's something. And it's a tutor. It's a tutor. It's not bad. So black and white does not look bad actually. So far. Nothing really inspiring in the other colors. Green is kind of empty right now. Screeching Scab, Neha Stalker, Crushing Vines, Earthball Ripper, Stormbound Geist. It's not bad. Scorch the field, divination's good, Sanctuary Cat's not good. Kesley Recluse is it's not bad. Atherton's collar. It's not bad. If I have hu enough humans, Lingering Souls is pretty good. Also encouraging black and white. Storm Strangle Geist is not bad. Hellrider is pretty good. It's a way of just getting in and smashing. I got a zombie. And a chalice of life. If you have 10 or more life, transform it. This is only going to work if you're playing a life gain deck. Otherwise, you're just getting one life a turn, which doesn't really do much. So, that's probably not it. Doom Traveler, another human, lost in the mist. Terribly expensive. Creep Ramble is not too bad. It's a defender, Gold Caller's Bell, Makeshift Mauler, Pitchburn Devil's pretty good in green. Runic Repetition. Wow, that's. Wow. Very specific card. Hamlet. Captain's not bad if you're playing Human. Celador is pretty good. Elder of Laurels. See if you can go wide, that, that makes this look good too. We have Hanware Watchkeep. Yeah, Elder of Laurels is particularly good if you want to go wide and have the bodies to do so. Uh, Fester Headboard is not bad. Deformities, not good. Claustrophobia is pretty good. Travel's amulet, it's not bad. That's decent removal. Stormkirk patrol. It's not bad for a random body. Night Revelers. Has haste as long as opponent controls a human. Yeah. Chapel guys. Grasp of phantoms. It's not bad. It's pretty good actually. Um, this one says if it would deal combat damage, instead deals double that damage. Ah. It takes more damage, 
and it deals more damage. Interesting. Destroy all enchantments. That's Blood Gift Demon. Wow, black. And green. All right. Just taking a quick look at what we have here. I still think the black and white plan might be the best plan. This is not bad. These are pretty good. Um, that's only good if I have something to do that way. That's kind of expensive. Divination is pretty good. Stormbound Guys is pretty good. Screeching Scab. Uh, these all require things to exile. So I'd have, I think I would have to dump creatures in my graveyard in order to play these. Via Thought Scour, I guess. If I had some armored scabs to work with all this, but I think green is or blue is out. This is I don't think this. Is, I mean, the removal's nice and the tempo's nice, but and the card draw is nice, but these guys don't have much to work with. Um, black Blood Gift Demons, good. I mean, this is not bad. Uh, gruesome Deformity, not really. This is pretty good. Gets me a card, then gets me two cards. Reap the Seagraph is not great. Um, Discovery is not great. Death's Caress is really good. That's removal. Scourge Stack Player is pretty good. Okay, maybe black is a little bit thin. Because we only have the Demon, the Flayer, and the Patrol. And removal. Like These are five cards that I'd want to play, but... The double blacks don't really aren't really inspiring here. Maybe it's a it's a splash. I mean, I do have two evolving wilds to get there. Oh, and a Travers, traveler's amulet, so I could get there eventually. Maybe, maybe go wide. Well, let's see. What do I have here? We got Uninspiring Vampires, Uninspiring Defender, Pitchburn Devils is not bad for the top. Hellrider is not bad for the top. Just makes all my guys hit harder. Scorch, the field, it's not great, it's kind of expensive. Herbal Ripper is just an okay guy, not all that impressive. Near Heath Stalker is a bit on the expensive side. Talons of Falconrath, no. Hinterland Hermit, probably not. Like, red is not really inspiring here, especially without any burn. Pyrehawk Wolf is alright. That's a creature I'd play. Yeah, red is out. Like, Hellrider alone is not gonna do it. So, maybe green and white? Grizzled Outcast. Travel Preps. It's pretty good. Guys will be dying. Faster Hide Boar with all the tokens that are dying. It's not a bad top. This works well if I'm going wide. Hamlet Captain. Getting lands. Pretty good. Okay. Alright, green and white. Might be the way to go here. Let's give it a shot. Okay. Green, white, and a splash of black. A thick splash, but a splash. Definitely playing Lingering Souls. Cat's out. I play Loyal Cathar. Uh, I don't think about that if we need it. I don't think we do. I mean, at the end, this becomes a 2 8. It's a good blocker, but. I don't know if that's going to be enough. That's a play. Midnight Guard. It's a decent combat trick. So this is a maybe if I can't get enough creatures. Let's see. Strangle Root Guys is pretty good. That's pretty good. Fest Tried Boards. Not bad with all the dying that's going to be happening. I think getting lands when I need lands is good. This is not a bad way of powering up my guys and repowering them. That lets me go wide. It's a big guy. This pumps up my humans. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven humans. Grave Bramble, eh, I don't know. That's three drops go, it's not bad, but it's not great either. So what do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Nineteen. We'll splash for Demon. Twenty. Maybe not the. F Maybe not you. Well, maybe you. I'll think about it. Demon's pretty good, and I have one, two, three, that's in four. Four means of fixing. I'll probably play this as well. And probably this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight humans probably means human synergy is pretty good. This gets benefits off of the black mana, so it's a reason to play black. And then just splash for the blood gift demon. Is there anything else? The flare. There's a few guys that I might want to sacrifice repeatedly as a kind of removal. Um. This lets me get back things multiple times. Death Crest is just straight up destruction. Maybe remove Skillful Lunge. And put in Death's Caress. And increasing ambition. So this destroys anything. This makes a whole bunch of guys. This makes guys. This guy is good because I have a lot of guys. So 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. 23! Oh wait, I got all these things on top of that. So okay, I gotta, I gotta adjust this. Um, Travel prep is probably not that good. I can put two counters on two creatures twice for four mana. It's four power and toughness for four mana. It's not bad. This lets me get even more value. Um, so that's a good substitution. I think Celador is pretty good because I. I'm just going to have spare mana, and this is going to be able to do a lot with spare mana. Hamlet Captain is just pretty good because there's enough humans. You're human, too. Um, maybe Strangled Root Guys has got to go. I mean, I do like that it comes in attacks, but... And gets Undying. That's pretty good. Loyal Cath are coming back is also pretty good. Elder Cather, Chapelgeist, Midnight Guards, Flash, being able to untap when creatures play is pretty good. Elder of Laurels, yeah, that's all pretty good. Recluse is pretty good. It's a blocker. Fester Hydebore gets pretty big if something dies, which we can make happen. Grizzled Outcasts do we get rid of? I mean, it's a 4-4 that becomes a 7-7 for 5. No, it's pretty good, too. I want the Traveler's Amulet. But maybe the Caravan Vigil. Plus the Evolving Wilds is enough to fix. Because this just ends up in the graveyard. And it just puts it in your hand. Whereas Kara and Vigil has a potential to put it on the battlefield instead of just in the hand. So it's potentially ramp, whereas this is just mana fixing. 
So maybe this is out. Maybe this as well. Well, maybe not. I mean, I need to make sure that I have enough lands. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 8 and 16. So, there's still too many cards here. Uh, well, this isn't bad because it's land. So, what do I get rid of here? Card advantage, card advantage. This works really well with all the humans that are going to be dying. This works really well with humans. This works really well with humans. This is just removal, removal, which I kind of need. Increasing ambition is good card advantage. So maybe I have to cut a creature. Maybe the flare has to go. Because I'm not going to be able to cast it early. And then later, I can sack a human to destroy a creature, which is really good. Because I have eight humans. And some of them like to die, like these two. And this one. Maybe a Midnight Guard? It's a really thick field here. But it's one of the humans, which I want to keep. Chapelgeist? No, it's a flyer. I want to keep it the flyer. Just gotta drop one card. It might be increasing ambition. Yeah, I think increasing ambition is the weak link. Because as much as I want to search my library for cards, it's and from the graveyard, it does extra searching. As the game goes on, how, oh, there was another pack. There was another pack. Guys, this may change everything. Let's see what's in this pack. Ah, dead weight. Well, that is something I'd want to play. Unruly mob sounds good. Traveler's amulet, which we already removed. That's out. One-Eyed Scarecrow is probably not going to get played. Uh, Patrician is a Vampire 3-1. Probably not. Ghostly Possession is maybe? Removal? Blazing Torch? Um, it's kind of like having removal. So maybe. Deranged Assistant. Sharpened Pitchfork, helps humans, so maybe. Ramble Crush, probably not. That's sideboard material. Avatar Ghoul is pretty good. Um, Heartless Summoning, nah. We got a Spirit, we got Delver. Classic, one of the more, most valuable commons. Alright, let's think here. This gives first strike to creatures. I'm gonna not play Deadweight, because I'm only splashing for black. This is probably not worth it, considering everything that I have. Sharpened Pitchfork is pretty good if it's put on a human. Unruly Mob's pretty good, because things are going to die. Avatar Ghoul is probably out. I can't, I'm just splashing for black. Now, there's no real synergies here. Um, man, this is really hard. I gotta make one more cut, or two more cuts. Or maybe one more cut. I might remove this. Like, sacrificing guys, Spirit Side Player makes an early mob good. And sacrificing, and other guys are just gonna die, which is pretty good too. Getting spirits for humans is pretty good. Getting this, I don't know about this. This is probably the weaker link, right? 
We put this on humans. That becomes a 3-4 first striker. 3-4 first strikers. 3-3 three, three first strikers. No real... It's hu that's kind of a human, but not really. Uh... Four, five, six, seven, eight. I guess this doesn't have quite enough um, synergy. I mean, just giving a guy first strike is not all that impressive. Although sticking that on Amish Viper or Keswick Recluse is pretty crazy. Um, I don't know if it's worth it. Let's keep thinking about this. These two at the top are really just splashes in Skur's Dag. Splashing black is meaningful because I have lingering souls. Um, I need humans and I want evasion, which is why I'm keeping those. Strangler Root Geist is a way for things to die, so is Ambush Viper. Hamlet Captain buffs humans and is a human. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 6, 7, 8. I think I dropped two cards out of this pile. And those cards will be... Um, I kind of want to keep Burden of Guilt because it's removal. It's one of two removal pieces that I have. I think I just need to get rid of some guys. Maybe I just remove most of black. I mean, I'll lose Death's Caress, but it's five mana. And the Demon, because these are hard to cast. And just Splash for the Flare and Lingering Souls, which means I need minimum black mana, because there's exactly two creatures that I'd want to cast. This does make this a little bit of a, uh, I mean, these two cards are this card in particular is really strong, but this does simplify my mana issues. And Skurstag player plays best with all the other stuff that I have. Because I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine humans, which works well with these two. And this, and this is really ten humans and plus. So. I think this might be the way to go. We can go wide, this is a much smaller group, and Elder Laurels will go crazy if I have the increasing devotion out. Um, as much as I want this, the double blacks are hard to cast, and I'm just splashing black, mostly for this, and I guess the Skurstag player might be worth splashing black for, so maybe this? Yeah, there's nothing else. There's nothing else worth splashing, and the double black is probably not worth splashing for. Probably, I don't know. This is pretty big beats. Might be better than a Grizzled Outcast. I guess that's the question. But if I'm gonna just keep it minimum, the two evolving wilds does make it easy to get one of the swamps that I'm going to put in here, but it's only going to be two swamps. Between Evolving Wilds and Caravan Visual, I could get there. But, I think, I think we go all in on the go wide plan. So, this is, this is it. Three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Yeah, that's it. Alright, so we want uh, minimum swamps, but mostly plains and forests. So, let's see. We have three lands already, so really we need 14 more lands. Two of them are swamps. So we'll put those two out right now. Okay, two swamps. Um, I'll need one, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, versus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 
11. So since we have doubles, double whites in, in both, that's five, six of each, right? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Then forests, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six forests, six plains, two swamps. It's 14, plus two evolving wilds to get the last lands, and a hunt of Venograph to get back a creature at the end of the game. Nine humans, so these two will get a lot of benefit. Well, this is like the 10th humans. And then lots of things will be dying. Morbid will be getting up there. Okay, so that's the deck. Um, thanks very much. Keep an eye out for the games that I'm going to be playing with Bobo, and I'll probably also try to take this up against the um, challenge decks as well. And that's all I have for you. See you next time.